skin problems in dogs are more prevalent in the warmer seasons. Dogs can suffer from mild to severe skin conditions, many of which require professional treatment to resolve and keep from getting worse. It's important to pay attention to any skin conditions your dog suffers from, as they can indicate an underlying health condition that hasn't already been diagnosed. But if the situation is mild or less severe, you may be able to use these easy home remedies for five skin problems to give your dog some natural relief. Before we jump in, we would like to share that Monku Dog has come up with a pet app where you can keep track of your dog's vaccination, make dog friends, find pet services, and helps you become a more responsible dog parent. Link to download is given in the description box below. So, the first remedy we have is the aspirin tea mixture for hotspot. Hotspot, also known as acute moist dermatitis, often triggered by scratching, licking, or chewing the affected area that eventually appears as a moist, oozing, redded area that is painful and very itchy to the dog. It causes inflammation, bacterial infection, and continues to spread over time. The best home remedy suggested by a professional vet, Dr. Andrew Jones, to treat the hotspot is the aspirin tea mixture. To make the mixture, you'll need aspirin. It is an anti-inflammatory drug that will relieve pain and inflammation. Plain black tea. It has tannins that will dry up the wound, stop the infection, and help it heal. And lukewarm water. So the first step is to soak one plain black tea bag in one cup of warm water and set it aside for 15 minutes. Now we'll add the aspirin tablets in our black tea. The standard and safe dose of aspirin recommended by every vet is around 325 milligrams for 40 pounds, which means approximately 80 milligrams for 10 pounds. In our case, we have 75 milligrams and our dog weighs 115 pounds. So we can add around 10 to 15 tablets into the black tea. Mix well until the tablets are dissolved. Make sure the tea is at least warm to dissolve them completely. Now, get your dog in a comfortable position and clip or trim the area around the hot spot carefully. Soak the gauze in disinfectant and wipe the whole area to disinfect. Now take a fresh gauze and dip it into the aspirin tea solution and wipe down the whole area. Make sure the solution is at room temperature, otherwise it will discomfort your dog. Repeat the steps four to five times a day for five to six days. Store the aspirin tea solution in your fridge to use later. The second remedy we have is all natural green tea shampoo for doggy dandruff. Doggy dandruff is nothing but dry, flaky skin that can be a red flag for a number of problems like allergies, mange, and other skin diseases. But most often, dry or flaky skin is nothing serious and can be controlled by this green tea shampoo. For this, you'll need Castile soap that is gentle on the skin and a powerful cleanser that has great hydrating property. Plain green tea bag. It is rich in antioxidants and nutrients that penetrate the hair follicles to nourish the dry, flaky skin and also encourages growth. The lavender essential oil has antimicrobial properties that prevent itchy skin or dandruff and any infections from growing. And apple cider vinegar that is rich in vitamins and mineral, good for dry skin and also has anti-inflammatory properties which can help with dandruff. First, we'll start with green tea. Take one cup warm water, dip one green tea bag, and set aside for 10 minutes. Take the same cup, add two tablespoons Castile soap in it. Add 10 drops of lavender essential oil. Add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and give it a nice swirl. There you go. Bathe your dog with this all natural green tea shampoo and let it sit for five minutes on your dog and then rinse it. Not only the doggy dandruff will go away, but your dog will also have healthy skin and a shinier coat at the end. Our third remedy is aloe cedarwood spray for ticks and fleas. Ticks and fleas are the bane of any pet owner. A lot of people are reluctant to use chemical flea treatments because of the possibility of a toxic reaction with the skin. That's why we have the aloe cedarwood spray that is gentle and safe to eradicate the ticks or fleas unless it is a full-blown infestation. To make this, you'll need one, a gentle skin astringent, which will serve as a base solution for our spray. Aloe vera juice that will soothe and relieve the itchy skin with its anti-inflammatory properties lavender, lemon, and cedarwood essential oil. These oils have great repellent properties, as well as a strong smell that pests don't like at all. 
For those who think essential oils are toxic for dogs, well, there are a number of approved studies that tell the essential oil is safe unless you are using less than 2% of it and also if you dilute it with water or carrier oil. First, take four tablespoons of spray base that is skin astringent in a cup. Add four tablespoons of aloe vera juice to it. Now, add 10 drops of lavender essential oil, 10 drops of lemon essential oil, add 20 drops of cedarwood essential oil. Mix well and pour it into the spray bottle. There you go. Shake well before you spray it on your dog. Spray once a day on your dog and avoid spraying it near your dog's eyes, nose, and mouth. The fourth remedy is Coconut Aloe Duo for sunburns. Dogs that have fair skin underneath their fur, thin hair, or hairless are at a greater potential for sunburn. The first and most obvious sign of sunburn on a dog is redness on the dog's skin and will also be tender to the touch. So, we have this Coconut Aloe Duo Remedy to cure your dog's sunburn. You'll need aloe vera pulp, obviously for its anti-inflammatory properties to soothe the burn area, and virgin coconut oil. That helps to moisturize sunburned skin and minimize itching. Now take the chilled aloe vera pulp on your fingers and apply directly onto the sunburned area of skin and leave it to dry. Once it's dried, take a little virgin coconut oil on your fingers and apply it to the same burned areas on your dog's skin. Follow these steps once a day for a few days until you see the change. Now the last remedy is 50-50 apple cider vinegar spray for itchy and irritated skin. Just like humans, dogs can develop itchy, uncomfortable skin for a number of reasons, like environmental or food allergies, which usually cause discomfort around a dog's paws, ears, groin, and rump area. Some of these may require a trip to the vet, while others can be treated with simple home remedies. And one of these remedies is apple cider vinegar. And for that, you'll only need apple cider vinegar for its anti-inflammatory and antiseptic properties. Helps soothe itchy skin. To make this spray, take five tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in a cup. Add five tablespoons of water to it. Mix well and pour into the spray bottle. Voila! Spray it on all affected areas of your dog's skin. Make sure you avoid the eyes and nose. Well, these remedies are completely safe and highly suggested by professional vets to dog parents who want to go all natural with their dogs. I hope this video was helpful to you. We'll appreciate your thoughts on this video in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, our app is live now. Go and download Monku Dog App. The link is in the bio.